Hi everyone, uh, this is gonna be another chess video. As I mentioned before, I'm gonna um, just show you every single game that I played. Um, I definitely would not have shown you this if I hadn't had that uh, resolution. So, well, maybe you you can guess already what the final result is, but uh, I'm not gonna spoil it. So I had white against somebody who's a bit stronger than me. Um, well, you can make up your own mind, but um, definitely he played better than me <laughs> during this game. I played d4. I uh, prepared some stuff again against knight f6 and whatever. He just played d5, so I was just wrong. Um, I was actually <laughs> a bit irritated. He played c6, and I think there was a guy. I think he 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 knew what I'm what I'm playing against this because I played it two rounds before. So actually I just got, um, I just decided to just, just exchange, exchange love, knight c3, and he played knight c6, where actually um, this is a bit inaccurate because white can get an attack immediately. And I, at least I had some idea about this. e4 takes d5, knight here, uh, queen a4 check, uh, getting back the pawn, so it's actually not even a sacrifice. And then already you have this, um, you can see that white has some kind of initiative here. Now, I, I don't know how deep this goes. Yeah, knight g6, and now I'm supposed to play bishop c4, and at some point play like d6, or d takes e6 if he ever plays it, and uh, kind of develop better. Like, it's easier for me to develop, obviously, because I have all my bishops open. I have more more space, more squares. Um, we can go into it a bit. Knight f6, queen e2, a6, knight f3. Yeah, I mean, pff, you can discuss this, but I mean, uh, I, I think it, this must be uh, more pleasant to play for white. Uh, so I didn't play that. Now I played h4, which actually is probably a pretty stupid move. Now i I show you <laughs> why I played it. It's a pr pretty stupid idea. I mean, he's... Uh, He's not he's not a total beginner. I was thinking if he plays h5, I played bishop d3. If he now plays knight f6, I can just take and this is checkmate. So this is my big plan. I mean this it's hard to hard to believe this would happen. But I thought even if he plays knight f6, um even if he plays knight f6, I'm still going to be able to uh, mm, to find something. So let's see, h4, knight f6, um, knight f6, queen d4, and now e5, and now suddenly... <laughs> Suddenly, I, uh, he has three pieces out. It's true, it's, they're not in great positions, but he does have three pieces out, and he's attacking my queen, so I probably need to take en passant. Bishop takes e6. Now I should have played bishop b5 check, but let's not go into all these details. This one, now I thought, well... Mm, I'm sorry. Yeah. Um, I played knight f3. So bishop uh, b5 check is probably still better, and now he's uh, um, preventing me from doing that. I played h5, which is, I mean, uh, it can't be that bad. Knight e7, and now um, knight g5. So my idea is to bring my bring my bishop to c4. So I need to get rid of this bishop here, and actually this bishop is also a bit unstable. So f5, not clear what he's doing on f5, and so on. Of course, bishop f5, I play bishop c4 and attack f7, so you don't want to do that. It's actually an interesting position, honestly. Interesting, it was just that I wasn't really feeling like playing chess. Um, this sounds like an excuse, and it is, so I will have a little bit more about uh, these excuses. Knight ed5. Knight took on an e6 and offered the draw, and I actually... I'm pretty sure I'm a bit better here. It must be. Uh, so it's true he has some kind of development advantage, but I think I can remedi remedi remedy it pretty easily. 
and um, he just didn't want to draw. I think he knew that I'm drawing all these games, so he didn't take it. Um, so I just thought, okay, well, I can push one more, one more square with this pawn. If he takes, then I activate my rooks and everything, so he shouldn't. G6, now I have this more stable square for my bishop, bishop G5. I just need to be careful not to lose the uh, the pawn, right? Bishop G5, bishop E7, and now I played bishop C4. Maybe not the best move, because now he has this kind of ideas attacking C3, right? So he took, I took, and knight E4. So kind of a double attack on the two stuff, bishop and pawn. Uh, maybe it's worth a little computer analysis here. Um, it's more or less equal because I'm still, I still have the bishop there, but he's gonna win a pawn here. Now I, I decided on bishop f4, apparently not the computer's best choice, but I think it's fine as well. So bishop f4, rook f8. So now now actually you have a kind of another attack. So the bishop, the pawn, that pawn. Uh, but I think I can kind of handle it because e6 is always going to be weak. And now he just decided on king f7, which is kind of passive, but it's still okay. King f7, bishop b3, kind of uh, just telling him, okay, please take the pawn. If you don't take it, I'm going to defend it next move. So I'm kind of making him uh, take. And now I um, decided on um, um, activating my rook. Let's stop this guy for a while. Activate the rook. Um, he activated his knight, like bringing it back. Check. Uh, king back. So I always have some kind of play against e6 even here. Now maybe I shouldn't have uh, um, taken, but I had an idea. So let's see what it was. Rook takes f8, check, king takes uh, bishop away, right? Bishop d4, king f7. So he's kind of moving back and forth. He's kind of out of ideas, honestly. I had the following idea now. So what if I take this, this knight? I mean, you can't just leave the knight there. He took with the pawn, which is probably a bad idea, and now rook c1. And I thought, well, I have at least the open file, and uh, how, how exactly is, I gonna, is, is he going to prevent me from entering his position? His king is kind of offside. This pawn is not easy to pick up, because I can play bishop g7, if need be. And in the meantime, uh, I'm going to come in with my rook, and I thought I have a pretty good chance of drawing this. Um, as it happens, actually, e takes d5 was bad, so rook takes d5 with the tempo is um, clearly better for black. But let's not uh, dwell on his issues. So after rook c1, I think I'm quite okay here. Rook c1. Uh, rook d7, which I don't really like, but there you go. Rook c8. And now, I mean... I always have ideas, right? To have the either to come with my uh, rook to um, to h7, uh, to h8, and take h7. That's obviously very good for me. Or um, yeah, just kind of like lurking around. I mean, if he plays b5, I can play rook a8, winning that pawn. And uh, yeah, and this rook is really unfortunately placed. I think I'm just fine here. Um, Bishop f6, and now I was very happy with this. I was so sure I was going to draw this. And rook g8. And now, what exactly are you going to do? So whenever, um, if you play, he played g5, but if you play uh, king g5, attempting to, t to pick up the pawn, I just play uh, rook g7, and I'm just winning this. Well, it's not winning, but... Mm. Yeah, sorry, no, it's just better for me, but it's not winning. But uh, yeah, of course, he can just go away with the rook, no. But <laughs> the point is, he can't take my rook. Okay, so he didn't do that, but um, yeah, the engine thinks he has some kind of an advantage. But um, I think if you let it think a bit longer, um, it's going to actually change its mind. G5. Um, 
yeah, already here, like G5 was its first choice, but already it's uh, kind of stuck. So let's stop the computer for a while. And uh, um, G5, King E2, B5, King D3, D4, um, and now I decided, so I, I thought, well, um, okay, I'm going to play some kind of a pawn ending here. So at some point I need to threaten uh, pawn endings here. And what I need for that is uh, for him not to be able to uh, um, to create a passed pawn easily on the, queen, on the king side. So I thought I can play g4. I'm actually... Pretty sure it's a bad move, but that, that was my logic behind it. G4, B4. Another question is, um, am I allowed to play Rook G7? And if you if you wanna pause the video and treat this as a puzzle, uh, you can go ahead and uh, and check it. Uh, I don't I, I don't want to uh, spoil anything for you. Um, yeah. Well, welcome back. If, in case you are wondering, the answer is uh, no. You can't play this. So I, I was I was actually super sure about this, but this is like totally lost. So if if I just come here, king f6. If I want to play this, right? King e5. King takes. So I mean, this is just kind of the main move, right? Here, here takes, takes, h5, and uh, he's way ahead of me, right? Okay, um, now imagine this position, mm, without g4, it's still, as far as I understand, it's still lost. But at least it's still interesting. So uh, it's kind of a weird evaluation, 1.5. Usually it's, <laughs> I guess the point is we're both queening. And in the end, uh, the final result, he just has a queen more. Uh, sorry, a pawn more. OK, f3 I need to play. So, so he needs to bring his king. A4 takes, uh huh, and actually this pawn is shielding him from the checks. Oh, sorry, he doesn't need to be shielded by the, any checks. So I am, I am shielded from the queen here, but yeah, I'm pretty sure this is actually winning for him. If it's uh, ah, maybe not. Yeah, that, no, no, actually I'm guarding the pawn, but it's uh, it's just for a short time. Anyway. So this was actually closer to a to a um, to a draw. This this was closer to a draw than what I played. So the, actually, this g4 was totally counterproductive because basically he can come in with his king one two three four and then he has a passed pawn already, which I was totally to totally oblivious to. Anyway, so um, yeah, so I didn't play that. Oh yeah, I did play that, but he didn't take. So actually, this is like totally winning for him. Um, now it's true that actually, yeah. So he actually played rook d5, which is even a bit better for me. I'm going to leave this on for now. Uh, takes, rook a5. Now we have equal pawns, right? 4-4. Four, four. And I have a passed pawn, which must be good. So he doesn't have a passed pawn yet. He's going to create one soon, but like, look at this guy. It's an h6. So actually, it had a purpose, all this h5, h6 business in the beginning. Now, I played the right move here. Rook b7. Rook a2. And now, so this is really inexplicable. The easiest way to make a draw here is h7. I didn't play that. Um, uh, 
didn't play that. I just uh, actually took this guy. He took. And now I thought, come on, this is just a draw, right? Um, I just need to be careful not to exchange uh, rooks because uh, that could be lost every now and then. If I need to pick up this pawn, let's say, with my king, and he can just pick, pick up this one and then this one. Um, rook f2, it's still a total draw, so I mean, there is like, I think, yeah, rook b6 check is a draw, rook takes g4 is a draw, king takes d4, probably not a draw. So that's the only difference. Rook b4, rook f2, rook b6 check, which is um, kind of a stupid check because I'm just driving his king up, but okay. And now I took the pawn. Great. And now I do what? It was a bit annoying for me that he's threatening to come in with his king, rook f4, king f4. But I mean, what I played here, I mean, okay, pause the video and think what I can play here, which loses the game instantly. It's not easy, actually. Like, um, and I wasn't, like, paid to do this. I wasn't um, somehow, I don't know, let's not go into... All the stuff that didn't happen. Uh, rook g6 is a pretty easy draw, but okay, okay. I mean, I, I'm gonna show you. I mean, just rook a4, and here I'm just totally lost. Um, rook a4, and he just gave this check. I mean, it's not exactly rocket science, right? Gave the check, I came back, and now he took and, and uh, oh, sorry. He took, and then what what exactly am I doing here? King up, check. King here, rook d3. End of the game. So my idea was I'm going to attack uh, d4 twice, but... So I mean, ju just to show you how easy this is to draw. So, okay, rook g6. He can't attack the rook, so he needs to... If he attacks the pawn, I take this pawn, right? And this, I mean, I'm not like some kind of a rook genius, but... Yeah, I, I can just come with my king, so... Um, doesn't matter, I can go anywhere I want. Actually, it's, it's very easy to draw this. This is the um, famous... Night pawn defense or whatever it's called. Um, yeah, I mean, I can I can even try to to withhold his um, to, to hold his king back, but I don't need to do that. Uh, this is the drawing uh, procedure. This is a total draw. Like I ha he has no um, no way forward. Like. Any anytime he gives me a check, I just go into the corner. If he gives me another check, I go in the other corner, and he can't go to like the I file or wherever. Like he can't go to the next file threatening a check. So all he can do is shuffle around, and I'm just gonna shuffle around, and this is a draw. This is how you make a draw, and this is stuff that I know. But um, I just took the pawns in the wrong order. Okay, like the easiest way to make a draw is. Um, Yeah, sorry. Is is actually this one, so h7. And now he, he's forced to do this, right? Check. Now I'm taking a pawn that I wasn't even able to take in the end. And now he has to stay there with his rook, right? Now, 
Actually, it is also quite easy to just take this, right? I take this. He should take, probably. I mean, he doesn't have an, any checks or swish and zooms or anything. Let's hit. He takes, check, king back. Another pawn. Now I'm a pawn up. Now this is a draw. I mean, I, 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 I don't know. I might have tried just like three or four moves uh, because he didn't take the draw earlier. Um, but it's just a total draw. And I mean, this is actually the the sad part is I thought, oh, h7, he needs to do this check and go back to, behind the pawn. So I, I saw it and, and then I thought, ah, but it doesn't matter in which order I play. I just, I just take all the pawns and he's going to take all my pawns and it's going to be rook against rook and even he will accept the draw. I'm not bitter that he didn't take a draw. He, he, he clearly had a reason not to. So uh, it may be some kind of a contempt or whatever, but uh, yeah, it's just why not, right? Everybody is allowed to take draws or reject draws. It's not, um, um, it's, it's his right. I'm not questioning that. Um, yeah, here, here even, I don't know what he's saying, king e4, I don't get any of this. But the main point is this, that I am doing a lot of very bad and very lacking thinking these days in bridge and in chess. And um, it's just a shame, like, I mean, it's like, it's true that I, so I, I go voluntarily to play chess, right? I sit there for... In this time, in this time, in this case, I mean, it's not even that I played very, very fast. I played fast in this particular rook end game because I thought it's all a draw, which is obviously pretty stupid. I lost already a game, a drawn rook end game, this season, and I um, am actually planning, and I, I was already <laughs> looking at some rook endings, but um, so. All the mistakes, even um, forgetting about the opening. Whatever happened there is happened. Yeah, I mean, you can have good openings or bad openings. Um, yeah, so actually, this rook g7 was really bad because this this just lost on the spot. Now, yeah, of course, even in the opening, I should have played it bad. Like actually, h4. Yeah, I, I can't just say that it's can have a good opening or bad opening. H4 is just a bad move. Like, I just gave up all my initiative here. I can just play normal chess and, uh, yeah, you can see, this is actually not totally meaningless. This kind of a half a pawn to one pawn advantage. It, often it, you can feel it at the table. Like it's, it's, it's not the same thing to have plus zero five or minus zero five. Let's, let's put it like that. Um, Queen d4, e5, yeah, so even here, yeah, I was supposed to play with bishop b5 check at some point and kind of put a little bit of pressure on him. Mm, rook g7 was really bad, he didn't punish me, but the next time I played a really, really, really bad move, he punished me. And the, the sad part is, is even that I, I, I saw, I saw this line, I saw h7, rook, a, rook a3 check, king takes, rook h3. And then for some reason I didn't play it. I don't even know why. So what what could be the reason? I don't know. Stop. Could you pause the video and tell me? Um, it's it's really bad. Yeah. So on Sunday I'm playing again, and um, I have white again. So I will have to see what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna look up this line actually, just in case somebody plays it. Um, the Slav. Yeah, people play it, and this this this. Um, Exchange lab is not bad actually. It's a decent opening for white, and sometimes you even get somewhere. Um, yeah, what can I say? Yeah, I'm uh, I'm sorry for everybody, <laughs> especially for myself, and I will really try to to do more concrete thinking, not just like yeah, it doesn't matter. I still had like half an hour at least on the clock, so I could have spent ten minutes to to decide basically in this position. Rook takes h7, rook, rook a5. I had a bunch of different options of how, in what order I would take the, these pawns. 
and I, I chose the wrong one and um, it, it wasn't a hard line to, to calculate especially not not this one the one where I um, I can just uh, even if I don't see this this check for some reason I mean here I can even try to push somehow although yeah he just activates his rook and he's fine pretty sure um, yeah I mean just rook here and now I have to come back with the rook because he don't want to play rook a2 uh, come back with them yeah king so he, he can just easily draw this um, I, I would have probably offered the draw very quickly but um, be that as it may, really, really poor. And actually, these games mm, last two, three, four games. Um, I, I played a bunch of sloppy moves and I wasn't punished. And in a way, I deserve to lose finally. So I haven't lost in a while, actually. But um, yeah, you can only do so much with just like this first, first order approximations, let's say. Um, yeah. So yeah. Thanks for watching. I'm. Um, I'm uh, sorry. I, I. I don't know if I was. If I sounded a bit depressed. I, I wasn't happy with this game at all. And in general, I hope on Sunday I can um, kind of have a proper game. And uh, yeah. Thanks for watching. Mm, bye bye.